Don't let the kid-friendly surface of these two games fool you. Dig a little deeper and you'll find top-class side-scrolling experiences. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which game moves forward in our competition. It's Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island versus Kirby Superstar on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Kirby Superstar mm -hmm. versus Yoshi's Island, Super Mario mm -hmm. World 2. These these are both incredible games. Yeah, we I could have no we idea could have guys. we could have chosen. I, I I think I personally was vouching for Superstar. We could have put Dreamland Three on here. Well, oh okay, I know where you're going with that. Yeah, sure. Um, but these are both really good games. Yeah. I feel like I feel like we chose these two to be together not only because they're sublime platformers, but because they're kind of cutesy. Oh, 100%. They're, they're both kind oh, yeah, of cute. Without a doubt. 100%. Even, do Dreamland 3 is more like color book, pastel, watercolor kind of. Yeah. Um, but just the way Yoshi's Island is painted like it's like it's drawn by a kid. You know, it's real like markered in and stuff. Yes, it's really good. These are both really incredible games. And mm -hmm. I'm stalling for time because I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Just, I know. Just, Ooh, there's sometimes, like, so, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes we're doing this and I already have a, a fathom. Of what I'm gonna pick by the end. Sometimes that changes, but there's other times where I'm like, I'm not budging off this one. But this one, I have no idea. Just I, like with Mario World and Donkey Kong Country, I had no idea. I need help. Let's go down the let's list. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Start with the top. The don't. Yes. Start with the visual. Let's start with visual. Visuals. <laughs> Man, <laughs> like, right. I don't know. Let me let me say something. Okay, I, I'll, <laughs> they're both good. I'll start y'all. I'll start y'all. Help, help me. I have the least amount of nostalgia for Yoshi's Island, um, because it was one of those things I didn't own. I own Kirby Superstar, so. I will say as a kid, Kirby Superstar, both, okay, let me just, I, I, again, we've said it before, we have to, to, to try to knock one out, we have to kind of bring up the cons a little bit. Yes. Both these games look amazing, like you mentioned, the cutesy art style, but there's something about Superstar that I kind of, as a kid, and I do as an adult, liked Dreamland on the NES a little better because it was more zoomed out. Superstar is a little uh, zoomed in. Sprites are bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not, not that it's a bad thing, but it was like it's like, oh, can we just back up a I'm little a, bit? I'm, and I'm, let a, me I'm see a, a halfway. I'm a halfway disagree because I like the you like I like the larger sprites bringing more characters. Yeah, to the, I agree. And, yeah. and maybe that's why they and did it because this is the first time they bring the hats and yes. you have your partner. Like whenever he's wearing, whenever you have the wing ability, mm -hmm. he's wearing that little chieftain hat, yeah. and you can really tell what it's supposed right. to be. The wizard mirror. Yeah, there's some there's some games you play where the pixel art kind of is so far back that you're like. What is it? What's that on his head? Is yeah. that a is that a hat or yeah. is that a hot oh, dog? Mario's that? got a mustache. He's got a mustache. Yeah, yeah. Or like, yeah, that's another good example. Like Super Mario World, whenever you you die, he looks at the the screen. Yeah. It's so like as a kid, I, I never understood what that looked like, and then once I saw it in HD, I was like, oh, that's his mouth. Yeah. You know, like his mouth. Yes, his mouth. Um, here's here's you said bringing up cons with Yoshi's Island. It really does have that kid coloring book aesthetic, mm -hmm. and maybe that's a turnoff to some people. Not for me. Because it's, I like it. It's de It was for me as a kid. Again, this is. I go back. This was a rental for me. It was a little jarring because I came from Mario World. I'm like, wait, what is it? I didn't understand it. Yeah. I wasn't mature enough to understand it. But as an adult now, I look back and I go, you know, I really appreciate that. It's kind of like the Mario Three. Hey, this is a stage. Mm -hmm. Didn't see that as a kid. Now as an adult, and mm -hmm. Yoshi's Island does the same thing. Uh, there's so many unique characters in Yoshi's Island. There's so yeah. much. So many unique characters in, D in Kirby too. There he is, but there's a, a there is a little bit more. That follows from Dreamland to yeah, to Super Smash. Yeah, that makes sense. But there, there you're, you're not sense. wrong. That you're right. Sense. But sense. I think the amount in Yoshi that like you know the lava guy, the little what's the little dudes? I can't even remember their names with the little pants. Pull their pants up. Yeah, uh, bashful Bert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. him. It's it yeah. just there's so many new little characters. I used to think those guys were milkshakes. <laughs> I thought so too. I thought, they were, I thought they were cupcakes. I thought they were milkshakes. Yeah. I was like, well, these little jumping milkshakes. Yeah. Okay, so man, this is this one was hard, but. Me, personally, my visuals, I'm going to go with uh, Yoshi's Island in this case, because I love the fact that it was so kitty looking and then mm. it, 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 it matched the theme very well. Let much. me say something before I forget. Mode 7 graphics in yes, Yoshi's yes. Island as well. Yeah. And that was incorporated into some of the platforms. Like, just like, like, remember, remember like the, the doors that would drop from the background of the foreground? Yeah. Um, that's pretty cool. That's but pretty let, cool. Me, let me say this about uh, Kirby Superstar. Not only from like how it actually visually looks, but from a presentation level. Yeah. Like the mini game, the Samurai Kirby mini game, whatever. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo, and you see the close ups of all the characters. Yeah. Or like whenever the people in the background cheering and you slam in the Megaton yeah, Punch. Mario's in and there. And it go it goes to that like that screen you split in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, how about this? 
the different artworks for the copy abilities at the bottom. Yeah. And whenever yeah. you're whenever you're playing as like the uh, uh, the second player, it's the actual bad guy, but it's Kirby in the same pose performing the same actions. Yeah. I like the uh, the presentation of that, and like whenever you're in Great Cave Offensive versus um, spring, uh, spring Spring Breeze. Spring Breeze. I was gonna say Spring Break. Spring Breeze. <laughs> Kirby the, the in the little, Spring Break. The little banners. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby in the Spring Break. Surprise. The little the little banners at the bottom are are the different. Bank, just chugging. <laughs> But they're different at the bottom. Like in Great Cave Offensive, it looks like kind of tattered treasure map yeah. material. But in uh, Spring Breeze, it's kind of like this kind of colorful, it's colorful. It's lollipop nice looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then every different mode are uh, milkshake, uh, milkshake, milkshake boys. <laughs> ah! Milky Way wishes. It's like kind of like this galactic looking. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And it has like the little information at the bottom telling you what planet you're on and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, well, that I mean. We just you get you brought up a ton of great points. So I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, okay, I, I, I'm, at the, I'm at the point where I love these games so much. I think and, they edge out the same, man. I don't think you can judge visuals both. I don't think there's an edge. They're so good. This one. I'm giving the edge to Yoshi? Yoshi's Island in this case because of the fact because of the fact that they think they really took advantage of the of the aesthetic with the fact that Baby Mario is the centerpiece of the game. Yeah. They made it made it like they <laughs> they centered the visuals around that. Yeah, I wish. Like, you know, I like that. And not a whole lot of games have tried that particular feature. This is one of the few games where Yoshi's got all kinds of different animations. Yes. Can I say this? Can I say this? I think Yoshi's Island 1 is the only Yoshi's Island game other than one the DS that has nailed that aesthetic 100% and everything has been like, it, it's just been one they big... tried again and like, couldn't do it. Because every single Yoshi's Island game that I've played after that didn't have that same vibe for me, including Yoshi's Story on 64. Mm. Just saying. Yeah. Because that 2D, 3D clash didn't work out for me very well. I have to, I have to. Poisoning. I just have to, I have to, if we can move on, I have to, I have to do a draw. I have to draw this one. If I'm going to draw one of them, it's this one. Yeah, and that makes sense. Can, I, can I, can I also draw? I do, this whole, this whole season, mm -hmm. Super Nintendo, I wish I could just draw, be here. Draw, 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 draw. I wish I could just be here being the guy spouting out the facts and let you two battle out because I can't, I yeah. cannot pick between they look these like games. the World Cup with all these draws. And this isn't even my personal 16 picks. Mm -hmm. okay. Audio. <coughs> Audio. Mm. Alright. Oh. I, I have to pull the trigger on Kirby for this one. Yeah. And the yeah. reason I say that is because, for one, with I love all the sound effects in that game between Kirby... Uh, curve the sound effects with like the sword, the, the the bombs, things like that, mm -hmm. and the music. Now, here's the thing about the music, okay? You gotta bring up Yoshi's Island Final Boss theme. That Dude. is a banger! And the mid, the, uh, the, the mid boss theme. That, yes. That, -na 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 but! Do you remember that part when the yes. piranha plant is coming out the water? Is like, -na 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 -na. And it's, it's like, it's going, oh, I got goosebumps. I'm yeah. getting goosebumps. But Koopa's a banger, yes. dude. You played it on the podcast. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's good. Bum, bum, it's really good. But Kirby, so Kirby, let's talk about Kirby. Megaton punch. It, it is really good. It's really good. I'm just going to throw that one out there. Dude, what about the the fact that... So Kirby brings a lot of themes that have existed in Kirby mm -hmm. before. Yeah. But there's boss battles and, and has boss done battle better, fights. But dude, what about Marx's theme? The final boss in Milky Way Wishes, mm -hmm. dude. That one is really... I'm getting so many goosebumps I right have now. to say that Kirby... I'm kind of with Steve in this one. Kirby kind of edges it out. And the point I was going to make was... Kirby has a good range of like happy, cutesy, and then it's got some really fast, like Great insane, yeah, like fight music. Gourmet then, race. Gour gourmet. Yeah, gourmet race, yes, yes. And then again, like gourmet the Megaton race. Punch, uh, the Samurai Showdown. But then Yoshi has got the big ones. It's got the boss is good, the, the Koopa, which is the boss battle, final boss battle music. It's a razor right thin margin. But, but most of Yoshi's Island's a little bit, doo -doo 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 -doo. it's a little cute. But and it's a razor thin margin, which is even more surprising that it's all kitty like that, considering the fact that that freaking boss battle theme is a banger. Mm -hmm. Dude, I like the, the part. Scene. I like the part in Kirby Superstar whenever it, like it goes into an old school RPG fight and it has that little the Kirby song, but it's like a little like DOS sounding battle mm -hmm. song. But, dude, Yoshi's Island has some really good stuff. It does. It's not hating on Yoshi. It's a razor-thin margin, but I gotta go That background, the, the, under, the underground... It's very chill, it is, it is really good. You can vibe to some bops on there, man. But. 
but uh, uh, there, I, uh, I don't want to pick. I don't want to give it to Kirby. I got to give it to Kirby. I got to give it to Kirby. Okay, okay. I don't want to. Okay. 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 Not available for this. Is a, this is a big one. If we're going to talk about a big one, this is probably the biggest one of this Mechanics. game. Mechanics. Uh, Yoshi does some stuff, dude. Yoshi does a lot. Let me Yoshi say does something. some fantastic stuff. Let me just start off with Kirby. Mm -hmm. Kirby brings some crazy new stuff in the fact that the copy abilities are now the first time we see hats. They're hat abilities, so that way you can you can absorb yes. a, a bad guy, and, and you now you, be, you, you create a new CP or computer player, or yep. your second player, if you will, if you're playing two people. Pause that thought for a quick second. Sure. Steve, you're talking about the sound effects. I'm glad you brought that up. I totally forgot. Remember the microphone ability? Remember that? Yeah. Remember that? And he's Just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continue. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, we're talking about mechanics. You know, and then you have the team-up attacks. Like, Kirby does some really neat stuff. But there is a little bit of layover that's coming from the old games. It's sure, the same yeah. thing. Sure. Yoshi, however, Yoshi brings a whole bunch of new abilities. He's got his butt stomp. Of course, he's got the egg throw. He's got dude. Those eggs. The egg throwing mechanic is so well implemented in that game. And you can change if you want to do it to where you hold it and then shoot it. And you or hit you can the let go you can hit the shoulder button and lock it. Mm -hmm. So that way you can like yeah. It's, dude, there's so much tactical precision yes. with those eggs. Yes. Skimming it across water, bouncing it off walls. Yeah. And we're and we're not even talking about yeah. the the unique Yoshi's. We're talking about helicopter mode Yoshi, submarine Yoshi, car, crew Yoshi. Car Yoshi. Yeah. The one where you turn a little mole and you eat the dirt Yoshi. I'm talking that's about the, that's the, you just have with that camera. This one, a little mole. The mole. Now here's the, the thing, though. <laughs> here's a counterpoint. Okay. Kirby's got multiplayer. Multiple ways for multiplayer. Uh, Co-op and yeah. Not only that though, uh, but they have several different adventures you can go on. It's a big game. one. Not to mention the fact that each copy ability, each copy ability is unique and brings a completely different play style. <laughs> and um. <laughs> A completely different play style to your game. Like you could go up, and you, you you go in there, and you're like, oh man, I want plasma wisp because I'm a Dragon Ball Z nerd, and I want to do Kamehameha. When and, we and, found and, out and that each different like, level of static, you could do the different attacks. That was so cool. Yeah, dude. And we we, we were like, I want to be the Super Saiyan because at the time we didn't know the know his name. You know, in my opinion, the way that they do all that stuff, in my opinion, is what puts. I'm gonna say variety. Kirby, so Kirby does have a big variety and multiplayer. Okay. I and will, the different I will games. say... I'm sorry. Go ahead and finish yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. The fact that... E <coughs> excuse me. Each different game... It's a, it, There's several games within a game, mm -hmm. right? Each yeah. It tells you game, on the label. Eight games in one. Each game has its own unique play style. Great Cave Offensive. You're going through and you're doing collecting. Uh, Dino Blade. You're fighting Dino Blade. Meta Knight. Milky Way. Two, two things, two things. Firstly... Kirby does have mode seven because I just thought about when Dino Blade comes in. It does. Uh, <coughs> dude, the the Meta Knight adventure, dude. Whenever you you're, you're playing with your co-op partner and they're the freaking motorcycle and you're driving and you yeah. ram off. But also, those are really fast. Like you can beat Spring Breeze in like oh, like five, five minutes. minutes, and that it's, makes sense it's because fast. because yeah. because it's mini. It's it's it's. <laughs> It's, you gotta be able to cram all that stuff into one. Yeah. But the thing is, thing. it's in, I feel like the, there's some inconsistency because, like, Milky Way Wish is, a, is still... They're all short. Don't get me wrong. They're all short. Yeah. But, like, that one feels a little lengthier than the other one. But, you know, Dino Blade has, like, the little world screen, the world map you can move around, and another one doesn't, and... It, it, it's it, the inconsistency there. I feel like could throw some people off. Like yeah. when they just might want one big cool Kirby game that instead of all the little things. Like by the way, I love that little court board menu. Yeah, it's great. It's like little pseudomorphic design. Me really, too. Really let me cool. let me let me throw you a Yoshi, a a Yoshi stinger. I, I need I need a Yoshi stinger as well. I have one. You ready? Yes. Probably one of the most unique health bars, if you want to call it that, yes. in game. Yeah. In that yes. you collect stars, you get more seconds to collect your baby Mario. No other game has done that. Yoshi's technically indestructible. I mean, fall mob and die. Yeah, if but, you hit lava or spikes, you Right. Die, but in the, the day, your health bar is, you just got to get the baby. Yeah, these kidnappers and you have that them. little number up there, that little black circle. With and the also, you're incentivized to keep that number at As, 30 and oh, get all yeah. the way through the Continue level. Continue getting stars. If, and, every and, level you finish it, you get a grade. And if you get mm -hmm. 100, all of them, you get the bonus levels at the very end, yeah. which is very hard to do. Also... Yoshi's Island has some impeccably good level design. Yes, yeah. it is. The platforming in that game is top notch. Like, first time you see floaty top. jumps. Best of best. From Yoshi. That floaty jump, like, firstly, the jumps feel good 
regardless. Like, mm -hmm. the way Yoshi moves feels really good, but that little extra oomph to kind of put that little finishing <laughs> touch on your jump just to make that last little bit. And then, like, by the halfway through that game, you're judging that float into where you're going to end up whenever mm -hmm. you're jumping. That, in that game, Yoshi, way, way, way more challenging than Kirby. Oh, Kirby is, is very easy. easy. You it's get the very... right set of copy abilities, you can just smash well, that. Well, that, and then also you can cheese it with, you know, player two can just keep respawning pretty much as long as you get an ability, and they yeah. just keep killing themselves. They can, nothing. There's no they repercussion. Can, they can hug, they kiss. I think they kiss, man. I'm pretty sure they kiss each other there. Okay, sure. I mean, hey, look. Spread Kirby, the Kirby wants to kiss all those weird people he hangs out with. <laughs> That's on him. I don't care. Hi! I mean, I don't know how you kissed the little jetpack man who has a big eyeball. I don't either. Or Waddle Doo. Waddle Doo. He's, he's just, just an eyeball. You just kiss his, his eyeball. <laughs> he licks it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think just anyways, the surface. I think I, I'm also like man, I'm so stuck because I think from a mechanical standpoint, I think Kurt, uh, Yoshi is the better game mechanically because of what it does and how that, well that, designed that it hope. is. But hope. the variety mm -hmm. and the mini games and multiplayer in Kirby is also. Um, that's kind of gives I, it its I, own yeah. edge, and I cannot choose in between them because I'm an idiot. Mechanically with Yoshi, it just there's just so much that's new. Bringing that to variety, Super that variety is what I go with with Kirby. So, next up, story. Oh, boss fights! By the way, boss fights. The boss fights in Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Are insane. They're tough, man. They they're are very tough, tough yeah. but they're all super good too. Like the one where you get eaten by the frog <laughs> and you throw giant eggs at his little throaty hangy thing, frog and anus. then he poops you out. Frog anus. Frog anus. You you come out of the frog's butthole. Frog anus. And then also, uh, dude, every <laughs> every boss was unique. Every boss was no repeats in Yoshi's Island. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas with Kirby, you get a lot of little mini bosses and repeats on them. It's just saying. Story, story, story. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Yeah, story. Story. Uh, yeah. I'm giving that to Yoshi's Island. Yeah. But you got so many different stories in, you, in, in Kirby. Right. King Dedede is eating all the food. Get him. Dino Blade's terrorizing the, the town. Get him. Uh, Meta Blade. Meta, Meta Knight's Meta Knight. terrorizing the town. Get him. Uh, Milky, Way, Milky Way Wish is probably the best one because yeah, it has really marks. Like it has say, you're kind of, you're kind of selling Yoshi here. It has, it has Nova, the big Nova yeah. machine. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, Yoshi. 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 You gotta go with Yoshi. Yoshi. Because, I mean, he's saving baby Mario. What's most revolutionary for, fellas? Fools? Yoshi. <sighs> yeah, that's, I gotta go with Yoshi on that one. Yoshi. The, leap, the leap in... The, the be able to have two partners and evolving the tech, the uh, the powers that Kirby can absorb and the, the team up attacks is really great going from Dreamland to there. But just Yoshi just says something some completely brand new and like you said, I don't think any game is game. Other Yoshi games have tried to emulate it, but it has not only set the tone, but it's not it's never been outdone. Yeah. So what is what stands test time? I think they both do. Yeah, they yeah. both do. I kind of lean. Dude, more I think I think uh, we're talking about Stan. I'm, I'm gonna put a little unique angle on this. Mm -hmm. I think Kirby has a special like, like just, I'm sitting down drinking some brewskis and playing Megaton Punch. Yeah, it's probably super duper fun. Yeah, honestly, Agreed. when a game has multiplayer, that gives it a huge boost in standing the test of time. It's not enough always to put it over the edge. I can, but the I fact can that down. not only do you have the actual game itself to be two player with like the co-op mode in different in the different games but you also have the mini games Megaton Punch Samurai Strike what's that called? Samurai Kirby Samurai, Samurai Kirby, Kirby. Yeah. and so you know Justin X come back by the way in the new Kirby game that's getting released mm -hmm. dude and it's like I think it's I, I might be wrong I think it's a battle royale I think everyone logs in and whoever pushes the button fast is Kills oh, everyone else. That's hilarious. Gosh. That's hilarious. Remember that time I got it in like point I'm so old. Second? I don't like that. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Is anyway. it vote time? Yeah, I mean, um, you can take what's best representative of the console. But... It gotta be Yoshi's Island, man. I mean, come on. Mm, Yoshi's Island. Yeah. Gotta be Yoshi's Island. I'll, I'll go right. first. I'll go vote first. Or, oh, Brian, you go first. You haven't gone first yet. Yeah, you go first. I don't want to go first. Oh, so. dang it. I'll do it. Yoshi's Island. That. I, this week and last week, played these games back and forth. I went back and forth. I was like, oh, Kirby. I love Kirby. And Kirby's my boy. Kirby is my, my mascot for Nintendo. Kirby's next, to the, next to the one we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, but 
man, just the more as an adult I see what that game and what the programmers did with Yoshi's Island, what's going on in the background, I'm like, I don't even know. I don't know how it fits on there at the time. I don't know how they yeah. how, how they do that. That makes sense. How they do that? That's what makes the Super Nintendo so yeah. special, man. They just mm. okay. Continue. I'm getting off track. That, that's that's my vote. That that makes sense, but you're wrong. Yeah. Kirby. You go. Home. I'm going with Kirby. I'm going with Kirby. And here's he why. He did that despite you. Here's here's why. Despite you. Despite you. Here's here's why I gotta go with Kirby, man. It is just. It's such a. It's so much fun, man. It is. I mean, and it's, I it's it. playing all that go fun. But but in all seriousness, no. And I mean, like, I'm I'm trying not to let my bias come in here. But I'll be honest with you, you man. You get a little bit. I just I I find myself if. I find that if, if I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play Super Nintendo games, there's like three games that I'm going to pick right off the bat, okay? Mm-hmm. It's going to be Link to the Past. It's going to be... Mario World or Kart? Mario Kart. Okay. And it's going to be Kirk. Okay. I'll pick those three okay. every time. Okay. And so I just think the music sets it off the test of time. <laughs> and that's me. What's wrong? What I do? I got a vote. I just I don't know what to. Um, I'll come on, Brandon. Something. Think, Brandon. Think. Okay, I can edit it. It's okay. We can take our time. <laughs> uh, Dude, you can't draw it. One has to go. You have to let him go, Brandon. Let him go. Let it go. You have to do it. <laughs> Yoshi's Island. I gotta pick Yoshi's Island. I have to. It's just. As a whole, <laughs> Let's zoom in on that dude, clip. dude, <laughs> Kirby Superstar t- is one of the most special. Let me tell you how. <laughs> let me tell you how special Kirby <laughs> Superstar is to me. I've played this. Let me show you. Hold on, where's it at? Look at how uh, this cartridge. Oh, damn! Dang. This cartridge Demon. was given to me like this. This mm-hmm. is how I received it for Christmas. That's a lot of putting in and out. I could have replaced this. Mm-hmm. And I never did. This, the battery has never worked on it. I would play this game. I would put it in and I would play it through. You can't save it? I can, but it would delete the next day. Mm. I would play this game through a million times. I would, I'll do it right now. I'll put it in. I'll play it. I'll 100% it right now. I love this game more than I can express in words. But from, a, good. from a standpoint, talking about Yoshi's Island, it's just... A better game. You're both wrong. From a mechanical, from a technical standpoint. That's what I'm saying. What it does with the hardware, what it does for the Super Nintendo, and I'm I'm basically saying, I think I like Kirby more, but I have to pick. That's where I'm at. I have to pick Yoshi because of what it does, and I can't deny what it does. That's and it's I'm just at. one of the more unique Mario game. It's a Mario game where you're, Mario is just on your back. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even really matter about yeah. yeah you're protecting he's, him. But he's like, almost not even a side character. You only get to play as him for like two seconds and like mm-hmm. three levels, mm-hmm. maybe. But it was just I ain't do nothing. It's a good game. Yoshi's Island wins. I ain't do nothing. Yoshi carries Mario across their first hurdle in the tournament, but will they make it all the way to the top? Subscribe to find out, and while you're at it, leave a like and comment on why we're wrong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.